40 million people watched him. He spoke. I time and again raised the gavel and said, are you certain, Judge, you've had enough time to respond to the questions? And when it was all over, I said to Judge Bork, now, Judge Bork, do you think you got a fair hearing? He said, yes. Anything else you want to say, Judge Bork? No. Anything at all you want to clarify? No. Then the public opinion polls were taken. And then the American people said, Judge Bork should not be in the court. That should not in any way direct us here how we should vote. I don't care if all the American people say he shouldn't be on the court. If I thought he should be, I would vote for him on the court and vice versa. That's my responsibility, my sworn responsibility. But this notion, this notion, I heard this morning lynch mobs, I heard from another senator this morning, $15 million ad campaigns. Where I come from, they call that making things up out of whole cloth. It's bizarre. It's ridiculous. Look at the wreck. For if the senator is suggesting that 50, I predict 57, possibly 58 of our colleagues today who are going to vote against Judge Bork are doing so because they have succumbed to the raw pressure wherever from wherever it was generated. It seems to me that's one heck of an indictment of your colleagues. Because if you insist that that's the reason they're voting why they did, not because of the caliber of the testimony and the people who testified against him, not because of his record, then it seems to me that the indictment is not so much of the system, but the indictment is of the lack of courage of individual members of the Senate. And that, to me, is an awfully, awfully, awfully strong indictment. Uh, I, uh, I'm not being facetious when I say this. I have a higher opinion of the ability of my colleagues to do what's right than a